It's, uh, it's hard to say when it started, but I think I took my first drink at 14. I got really sick, but I was in love. Booze made me feel special, like, I don't know, it wasn't really me. I could be someone else. I, I really wanted to be someone else. It's someone who wasn't afraid to be anything, or someone who wasn't afraid to talk to other people. I could be the life of the party. And I usually wasn't, so, I mean, that was great. But, um, it, it became a habit. It went from, I want to have a few drinks to loosen up, to, I need a few drinks to loosen up. I mean, I needed it, so, I mean, then, of course, it became an almost everyday thing. I woke up hungover every day, and I was in a crappy mood when I wasn't drunk, but uh, probably was in a worse mood when I was. I lost all my friends, but... I made some new ones, and I thought they really liked me, because it seemed that way. I drove drunk so many times that it's, um, it's a miracle no one ever got hurt. The more I think about it now, actually, from my current perspective, the more I can see that God was watching out for me. He had a plan for me, and uh, when I got sober and started working the steps, I struggled at first with the idea of God. I mean, who was this God that I was supposed to turn my life over to? <laughs> I thought I knew all about him. I went to Sunday school, and they taught me about God, but I didn't really understand God. I read the Bible in church, but it always seemed like some old story about something I was supposed to think was important, but I could never relate. So, I mean, faith-based recovery has been a huge help, and no one was more surprised about it than me. But when I read, um, for I will be with you, that line from Exodus, when God tells Moses not to fear Pharaoh, the most powerful king in the world, that Moses would have the strength to command Pharaoh to let my people go, to free them from slavery, just like I could free myself from the slavery of alcoholism. And then I began to understand that God was with me. God is with me, and uh, I'm not alone in this struggle. So, I mean, every day I want to drink, but God is with me, and... He'll give me the strength to stay sober and work the steps.